Hi, my name is Joseph Brutus. I'm the general manager for Handyman of America. Today, what we're going to be showing you is how to convert this burn hand boiler that's in pretty good shape into natural gas. Uh, we're not going to replace the boiler, but what we'll be doing is uh, utilizing this Carlin natural gas burner and um, after we clean the unit uh, we're going to slip it in. Um, incidentally we are NAID certified on oil installation and services as well as in gas installation and services. We guarantee our work for three years. Parts, labor and the burner itself. To accommodate the, the gas capacity uh, that the burner will require uh, when doing this oil to gas conversion what we do is from the meter starting from the meter we add an additional pipe that's larger in size so that there won't be any problems with uh, fuel restrictions and this piping goes all the way to where the boiler is and from there we pipe it directly to the boiler using smaller piping. To make this uh, oil to gas conversion proper even though it's just a burner conversion um, well actually uh, with a burner conversion you need to clean the the heat exchanger of this uh, oil boiler uh, to make it efficient. As you can see it's, it's really clogged and uh, if you don't do this uh, this conversion would just be a total waste because all that energy will not be absorbed by the heat exchanger and it'll just uh, go right up to the chimney yeah. and here you can see the flue pipe is also there very dirty and uh, the base of this chimney also should be clean and that's what we're going to be doing here's a shot of the chimney chimney base and uh, as you can see it's uh, getting Fill the debris. If, if uh, this is not taken care of, eventually it'll clog up the chimney. But uh, since we're doing an oil to gas conversion, um, now is the time to clean this properly. This is what a clean heat exchanger should look like. Uh, if it's not clean like this, then what happens is that all that energy, all that heat that's rising up, is not properly captured and so an oil to gas conversion just becomes a total waste so in every uh, oil to gas conversion uh, when you're changing from oil to a natural gas um, with just a burner conversion then the heat exchanger also should be you know part of the job in this particular case we cleaned it so that you get proper absorption of heat and um, maximum energy efficiency as we progress in this uh, burner conversion for this uh, oil boiler uh, after taking out the, the, the burner we take a look inside the, the chamber and we could see that it's loaded with debris and also the insulation is all worn so what we're going to be doing is replacing well, well, we're going to clean it up first and also we're going to clean the heat exchanger underneath and then we're going to replace all of the insulation in this chamber. Another determining factor in this burner conversion for this oil boiler is to uh, make sure that uh, underneath uh, where the bottom of the heat exchanger is uh, that there are no water marks or traces of rust that indicates uh, leakage uh, sometimes um, a leakage will be present and we may not know about it because the heat from the burner um, vaporizes the, the drips so that even though the boiler is dry um, there could be leakage internally and so we don't want to put a burner in here to convert it to gas and find out that uh, the customer um, is going to have problems with it in the very near future so we want to avoid that by inspecting underneath it